There is yet another winter storm that is forecasted to move across the south from Tuesday morning through Wednesday morning. However, this time wintry precipitation will even be possible in portions of the deep south. Let's first take a look at the possible timing of wintry precipitation across the south. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain will be falling across portions of Texas and Louisiana on Tuesday morning. By the afternoon, snow is predicted to have spread further to the east and north across portions of the deep south. And, by the evening, snow is predicted to be falling across portions of the Carolinas and the Mid-Atlantic. In the early morning hours on Wednesday, snow will be coming to an end across much of the area with snow forecasted to be still falling over coastal regions. Finally, later Wednesday morning, the storm and its precipitation will be located off of the east coast. Before discussing the forecasted snowfall and ice amounts, I should point out that there is still some uncertainty in the forecast this far out. For example, on this European model forecast for early Wednesday morning, notice that the predicted position of the low is rather close to Florida and that the shield of light to moderate snow expands far inland. Now on this American model forecast, notice that the low is forecasted to be located further to the east and that there is only an area of mostly light snow extended inland. Further illustrating the forecast uncertainty is this European ensemble forecast valid early Wednesday morning. Notice that there is some spread in the ensemble members for the position of the low associated with the storm. However, the spread in ensemble members is much greater on the American ensemble forecast, indicative of even greater uncertainty than depicted by the European ensemble. Now moving on to predicted total snowfall for the storm. Due to the previously mentioned uncertainty in the forecast, please keep in mind that these totals should not be taken verbatim, especially this far out. After looking at ensemble predictions, it seems that in this circled area, the highest snowfall totals could range from 1 to 4 inches, especially in these areas where ensemble probabilities are greater. Localized amounts of 4 or more inches are possible in spots within these smaller areas. Finally, let's discuss the predicted ice accumulation resulting from freezing rain. Like the snowfall total forecast, these totals should be taken with a grain of salt this far out. It appears that around 5 hundredths of an inch up to around 15 hundredths of an inch in spots will be possible with this storm. Please keep in mind that travel will become hazardous wherever freezing rain does occur. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe.